The speed was a lot more better <laughs> and a lot more fun. That was Austin Riley talking about the historic summer he has had so far. Yes, he races on much bigger tracks with much quicker cars, but he's also smashing stereotypes surrounding autism one race at a time. Yeah, so this one was from the Celine Cup race that I did in Portland, and this one was from the first podium in a car race in the Micra. It's been a busy summer for Austin. He became the first person with autism to reach the podium in a car race. And that other trophy was his third place finish on a track with a new car that he's never drove before. Yeah, it was a pretty significant moment getting offered a ride in a much faster car that I've never driven before and a brand new car that they just built. It wasn't a dry eye on the podium because everybody was pulling for Austin all year and last year. And he came so close last year a couple times. Um, for him to actually finally accomplish that dream or goal, you know, it was pretty, pretty special. When Austin raced in Portland, he also made history for another reason. He was the first race car driver with autism to drive in the United States. It's when, you know, standing here in this kind of environment that he has a lot of anxiety and, and nervousness. But when he's going at the speed of light is when he is comfortable. And we're, we're the opposite of that. When we're going at the speed of sound or, you know, very rapid, we're uncomfortable. It's the opposite way for Austin. Austin's successes prove to me and we hope to prove to everyone else that it doesn't have to be a bad thing. In Austin's case, autism actually helps Austin on the racetrack. The message I want is just to get help and hopefully show people that people with autism can do amazing things and hopefully people will step in and help me get to the next Celine race. Austin's busy summer continues. He's heading to Quebec this weekend to compete in another race and is hoping to bring home a trophy. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.